The S7P Diag option package extends the scope of functions of Step 7 with the option of process diagnostics for the ladder, function block diagram, or statement list language. Here there are different types of monitoring available. Using address monitoring, you can monitor specific addresses in the program or directly from the symbol list on a set point level or change of edge. The task of the configurator is to attach the error definition to an assignment in the desired network and to parameterize the predefined monitoring logic in a dialog. You have a choice here of edge or level monitoring combined in each case with a delay time. You can add parameters and any associated values to the message text that is supposed to be displayed in case of fault. Now, if the monitored address deviates from its set point state, the message is displayed. In addition, through criteria analysis, you can trace the address that caused the fault beyond network and block boundaries. For general monitoring, you can monitor any signals via a freely definable monitoring logic. In other words, This logic is not part of the user program, unlike the previous case. Only if the logic of the individual operation is fulfilled will the fault message be triggered. You can design an individual monitoring logic and formulate it with S7P Diac specific language elements in the parameterization dialog along with the message text. For address and general monitoring, you do not need to modify your user program for the monitoring logic. With motion monitoring, you check whether physical movements in your process are being executed correctly and within the specified time. S7P Diag offers four different forms of motion monitoring. Startup monitoring determines whether a movement actually leaves its start position within a predefined startup time. Action monitoring determines whether a movement reaches its target final position within a predefined time. Reaction monitoring determines whether the target final position reached is being held stable. Interlock monitoring determines whether valid interlock conditions are fulfilled in each direction of motion. Specific programming regulations have to be observed for the concept of movement monitoring. With S7P Diag functions, a block is supplied with standardized monitoring networks and it has to be linked via parameters with the application specific addresses. It already contains the necessary initial diagnostic addresses and data structures on which the configuration masks of the different movement monitoring types are set. All you have to do is assign the parameters to the marked initial diagnostic addresses using the configuration dialog provided. The monitoring logic is then generated by the system automatically for the motion monitoring concerned in each case. The standardized data structures make it possible to incorporate ready-made HMI masks such as the manual operation mask without having to do any programming. This option for generating standardized multiple use monitoring blocks which also adapt their instance specific message texts automatically is a great potential for streamlining in engineering.